Hello, everyone. I'm Wendell Jones, and welcome to this edition of our program, The Platform, the weekend edition of our program. And as many of you would know who have been watching us for several weeks, we are doing a health series. And uh, my co-host on weekends now, Bianca Nygaard, has decided to bring about uh, a number of topics dealing with uh, health and uh, she is procuring a number of guests uh, every weekend. And so on our program today, we are going to be talking about body image. Um, uh, there were rave reviews uh, last week about uh, the uh, chronic non-communicable diseases. We had a number of nurses here. And Bianca, we got a number of calls from people who said that they enjoyed your program immensely. So thank you <laughs> so very lovely. much for arranging that. Good. Uh, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. And so today we are talking body image, right? Yes. Well, we've been speaking about um, the health issues and in the island, how we're number six in the world per capita of obesity. And now what are we going to do to try to solve this problem? And what are the issues? around it and uh, it was funny because you know I'm constantly working on myself and my weight goes up and down all the time and so after our show I was invited to Rose Island to the beach with my friends and I said no and the reason why was because I wasn't comfortable going in my bathing suit around my friends mm. and I missed out on a wonderful day at Rose Island and I basically said no to my life because of, I was ashamed of the way I looked. So I was um, talking to my close friends about that and about body image and how it, affects, how it affects us. What are these messages that we're telling ourselves? And is it the same with the people when we go out? Are they saying, you shouldn't, would my friends have said I shouldn't be out there because I gained weight? You know, maybe not, maybe. So uh, how do we get past that or what's going on here? Oh, very interesting. So today uh, we're going to be speaking with four uh, young ladies. Uh, Jane Charles, who is a pool player, and uh, we're going to speak with Nicole Farkison, uh, who is a motivational speaker, among other things, and an artist. We had her here before, and uh, she also got some rave reviews on the program that she was on. And then uh, later we're going to have a conversation with Alexis Bethel, who is a life coach, and Gigi Ali, who is a makeup artist. And so for starters, Nicole and Jane, welcome to the program. Thank you, Thank you for having us. Uh, nice to see you. It's a pleasure. Uh, you're a pool player. I am a pool player. Among other things. <laughs> Among many other things, but I do, I'm a pool player. I play in big tournaments, I play in small tournaments, I, I play on leagues, I play a lot. What? So tell us some, some of the places where you have played. Uh, I play in Vegas quite a bit. Uh, I played the Rum Runner most recently. I play on the Mez Tour. I play in the APA National and the Mini Mania tournaments. Uh, the BCA I'll be going to at the end of July. So there's a, a lot of tournaments, mostly in Vegas. I'm, I live in LA, so there's a lot of things on the West Coast that I enjoy playing. So you, you um, play professionally? No. I'm an amateur, I enjoy playing, I'm happy with the level that I'm at. I realize that I'll never be the absolute best player out there, but I'm the best me that I'm going to be today. So it, it works out quite well, I have a great time playing, and whether I place first or third or go two and out and place last, I'm happy I get to play. How do you know that uh, you are playing the best you? Because I'm doing better than I did yesterday, and not as well as I'll probably do is tomorrow, because I'm going to keep working at it until I get it right. And how long have you been playing? Too long. <laughs> what is too long? Mm, probably about 25 years. 25 years? You were playing from you a little tot. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nicole, it's good to see you again. Thank you for having me. And you have been around the world since I spoke with you last, eh? Not really. Here and there, and then I come right back. Okay. You know, it's home, so it's yes. Easy. Yes. Uh, and, um, you know, we are talking about uh, image building, and um, you have spoken to us. Uh, about um, various challenges that you've had and how you uh, have been coaching other people. Speak to that. Um, well, for me, it took me a long time to actually look myself in a full-length mirror. I stopped doing that at age 14, and I guess you can say picked it back up at age 33, and I'm 36 now. So it takes time to really look yourself in the mirror and know who you are and know what you want. So like Bianca says, I had friends that I can go out with and party with and we do whatever. They would never tell me, hey, you know, it's okay. It's because they don't know how to approach the situation. So they just kind of, oh, you know, if you're not comfortable, 
will be comfortable for you. It, it, that's how it kind of plays out. But at the end of the day, it takes me to be comfortable with me. So you have to be comfortable with yourself. Yeah, yeah that's a definite. Thing. Yes. You can be positive about it. That's one step. But you have to be real about it. The realism is outweighs positive aspect of it by far. And so what do you say to people who are so uncomfortable with themselves, who are ashamed of certain features about themselves? Where does it come from? That's yeah. my first question. Where does it come from? Mm -hmm. Is it yours? Is it yourself telling you that? Or has that come from somebody saying something? Or you watching your parents or whoever you've grown up with? It can be fears that are projected onto you that you've then taken on. So, so you, you have to trace it back. You yeah. have to figure out where it came from. Um, and, and the remedy for low self-esteem is what? Mirror work. Mirror work. Lots and lots of it. It's a, it's a deep, dark place. There's lots of tears. There's going to be a lot of Kleenex. But it takes sitting in the mirror and knowing that you can do it. And coming to accept yourself yeah. for who you are. You have to start small. There's, there's certain parts of your body, you just list it out. Hey, you know, I don't like this. I don't like that. Start with three things, and then you slowly work on it. Because a lot of people think that change is something huge. It's not. Change is just it's compiled of little things. So you have to work with little things first. OK. We're going to take an early break here, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, let's take this break here on our program. As we get started talking about um, the image of yourself, body image, we'll come right back. 